All right. The last part for spline interpolation is cubic spline. So it is the similar idea for other spline interpolation in which if we have data and we try to create a function that describes a relation between these two, uh, each two data pair. So this is like a function that we approximate uh, for x1 and x2 data point. And also if we have uh, more than uh, two data points, for example, we have four data points. This is x not x1, x2, and x3. So we would create like in total three functions, f1x, f2x, and here is f3x. And for cubic spline, each function, each function, f1x would represent in the cubic function form. So it is a 1x to the 3, b1, x squared, plus c1, x, plus d1, and it will valid uh, from x0 to x1. And for f2x, it is the same. So this function is defined over x1 to x2. And F3X would be all right. So we have in total twelve unknowns. So if we want to solve, we need 12 equations for solving this unknown, right? So it will did in a similar manner to uh, quadratic spline, only some condition are different, okay? So we start with create the equations by considering at the junction point at the junction point so from this data x1 and x2 are junction points okay so the junction point at x1 and x2 so we have two junction point right and at the junction point we found that f1x would equal to in, uh, at junction point f1 x1 would equal to a1 x1 to the 3 plus b1 x1 square c1 x1 plus b1 equal to f x1 right all right so in f2 x1 plus equal to a2 x1 3 plus b2 x1 2 plus c2 x1 plus d2 equal to f of x1. So this is for one junction point, but we have two junction points, so we're gonna have another two equations. So in total, we will get four equations from these two junction points. 
Okay. And then we would consider the first pi. The first pi is the first pi. The first pi we get f1 x0 would equal to f of x0. So this is a1 x0 2 plus b1 x0 2 plus c1 x0 plus d1. Right? So here is one equation. So here is the one equation. And then at the n pi, n pi. So n pi is at x3, right? So f3 x3 does equal to f of x3. This a3 x3 plus b3 x3 square plus c3 x3 plus d3 right. this is also one equation so far we have six equations but we have 12 unknowns so what we have to create is other six equations so we go back and consider at the junction point again at the junction point each junction point is supposed to have the similar slope right so f1 palm at x1 would equal to x2 palm at x1 and from f one x equal to a one x two three plus x square. So if we take the derivative at x one, we will get three a one x1 square plus 2 b1 x1 plus c1 so from this we will get 3 a1 x1 square plus 2 b1 x1 plus c1 equal to f2 palm x1 which is 3 a2 x1 square plus 2 b2 x1 plus c2 so one junction point create one equation but we have and two junction points so in total we get two equations from here and at the end point, at the end point, so end point is mean at x0 and at x3, okay? So at x0 and at x3, we will assume that the second order, the second order of the function that we create would set equal to zero. So F3, so F3, pom -pom, X3 does also equal to zero. Sorry, I would rewrite again. So this is like F3, pom -pom, X3 would equal to zero. So we get another two equations. So right now we have like 10 equations. So we also need uh, two more equations, right? So from two more equations, we will assume, we will assume again at the junction point,
so this is x1 and x2. Here, we assume that f second order of x f1 pam pam x1 must be equal to f2 pam pam x2. Okay, so this is one equation for one junction point. So we have two equation. Uh, we have two junction point. So from this, we will create two equations. So from this condition, we can formulate 12 equation and we have to solve for 12 unknowns. The equation that we're gonna create. This is like 12 times 12, and it's a function 12 times 1. And we have to solve for all unknown parameters. So for this vector, okay, which you can use previous uh, lecture. That you learn how to solve system of equation to solve this big set of equations. Okay, this is the last part of this chapter, and the next chapter we're gonna learn uh, about the regression techniques.